Today is literally a nightmare scenario that thankfully is rare, but we gotta teach our kids what to do. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Throwing targets are lightweight, weatherproof, take thousands of rounds of shooting and make shooting fun. Pick up a set for your next range trip. On the left is a 16 year old girl. On the right is a guy who has literally been released from prison five days before, according to the news story, and then was in his car trolling the neighborhood, parked his car around the corner from here, and then walked over and tried to initiate a conversation with this 16 year old girl as an act of pretense. And she kind of, you know, gave him the cold shoulder a little bit, but did interact with him a little bit. So then he's gonna grab a hold of her and try to push her towards his car. And, and what she's gonna do there is grab like a street sign right there, and then he's gonna rip her hand off that and try to drag her to the car. And she's gonna grab a hold of the chain link fence instead and start screaming bloody murder. Well, eventually that's gonna make him give it up, but he's still got her cell phone, though he is going to then toss her cell phone to him and walk off. And it was several hours later that cops caught this guy, took him back into custody without incident. We actually have another angle of it here as well as he walks off. So you see it from the other side. You see her grab a hold of that street sign. It looks like, like a bus stop, uh, stop sign or something like that. And when he's trying to drag her off, she grabs a hold of the chain link fence and while she's screaming, holds it for dear life and then gets her center of gravity low. He lets her go. Thankfully, she was not physically hurt. He is in custody and we're gonna think about lessons. Parents, have, have you talked to your kids about this stuff? Do you let them watch these specific ones where teens are involved so then that way your kids are better prepared? I sure hope you do and talk to them about it. And I just wanna know what's your strategy. Leave me a comment, would you? Big lesson here, ladies, you are on your own. No one is coming to save you. You are the primary agent in your own rescue. And this includes your children as well. And, and teenage girls need to be taught self-defense. They need to be taught that they are worth defending and they have the right to protect themselves and no one has the right to touch them without their permission. So please, I have done an entire series on women's self-defense and the, the mental side of that game, not punches and kicks, but the mental side of that game. And it's on Active Self Protection Extra. I'll put a link in, to the playlist in the description, please share it with the women in your life so that they can better protect themselves. Now, this gal here, she let him get a hold of her. And once he's got physical contact with her, she loses a significant advantage. I can't tell you enough, if possible, maintain your physical distance and use what you learn there. Again, uh, you know, uh, managing unknown contacts in Craig Douglas's verbiage to push that guy away from you, get him to keep that distance. And if he doesn't, then enforcing boundaries with something like an OC spray, because once he gets his hands on you, that kind of stuff is off and you gotta be able to just hand fight very difficult because of the difference in strength because between men and women. I'm not saying she can't do it, but it's difficult. She did something very smart though, and that she grabbed onto that sign and, and was unwilling to be taken to a second location. And good for her for that. Now, when he rips her hands off that, she gets a hold of the chain link fence. I can't tell you enough, don't be taken to a second location. Nothing good happens at the second location. And so I'm very proud of her for being unwilling to do that. Now, another strategy, if you don't have a chain link fence or something like that, is to play briefly like a toddler. If you've ever tried to pick a toddler up off the ground who goes all limp ragdoll because they don't want to be picked up, to get down on the ground and then use the large muscles of the legs, the glutes, stuff like that, to kick him as hard as you can, as many ways as you can, until you can get some distance to get up and run like heck. She does a good job here staying on that chain link fence and then he eventually lets her go, which is great, and then even gives her her cell phone back. But I would say get out of the danger zone, please. Once you get that distance, don't hang out hoping that it's over. Instead, she has everything she needs right now, run. Run as hard as you can, as fast as you can, and as soon as you turn around, look for a place of safety to run to because we don't wanna just run away from danger, we wanna to run to safety. Instead, she kinda of hangs out here and prolongs the danger that she's in. And while I get it, I'm sure she's in shock, I would strongly encourage instead to try to just move and get as far away as quickly as possible in case he changes his mind, which is kind of what he did here a little bit. He's gonna kind of walk back and go, now nah, I wanna pursue this a little bit more. And it's only when she's kind of too far away from him and screaming bloody murder that he finally goes, no, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. As we see it from the other angle, I love that she's got a hold of the sign there. Recognize he can overpower by strength, but she's a fighter. And I love the spunk in her here that she's gonna hold that fence. And she also does something very good here that I'm, I'm not so sure she did it on purpose, but notice what she did is while holding onto that fence, she got her center of gravity very low. If he can get his hips 
below her hips, he'll be able to pick her up off the ground and take her places. But if she can keep her center of gravity below his center of gravity, he will have a much harder time picking her up. And that's what I'm talking about doing that kind of, you know, toddler, limp body, you know, ragdoll kind of thing. Really the base, the, the, the bottom line is keep your hips lower than their hips, your center of gravity below their center of gravity, and it will keep them from being able to pick you up or at least make it much, much, much more difficult. I just applaud this young girl. I think she did a great job of protecting herself. Please teach your teenage girls that they are worth protecting, that they have absolute right to protect themselves. No one has the right to harm them, put their hands on them, certainly to take them someplace that they don't wanna go. And I would even encourage, have some tools like an OC spray or something like that if that's legal in your jurisdiction to help them better cover their ass.